lip balm on. This is just the Nivea Lip Butter in Raspberry. I always use this stuff. I have a lot of redness going on my face today, and I want to control my oils, so I'm going to use the Olay Fresh Effects Mattifier Primer. I talk about this all the time. It does a wonderful job at really controlling my oil, and it does kind of help my redness as well. Something that I've been kind of enjoying to do is color correct before I do my foundation. So this is the LA Girl Pro Concealer. This is in the shade Nude. It's kind of like a peachy shade. And I'm just going to kind of put this right under my eye. And quickly blend that out. This is just going to help kind of neutralize that area. Then we're going to go in with foundation and um, regular concealer as well. Next two foundations today, the Maybelline Fit Me and then this new Maybelline Super Save Better Skin. I did just do a full review and a demo on this foundation. If you guys want to check it out, I'll link it down below. But mixing them really still helps control my oil all day, but it's still going to give me kind of like that natural kind of radiant finish. It's really pretty. I'm just going to blend everything in with my Beauty Blender. Next, I'm going to go in with a little bit of the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Light. I just kind of hit all the high planes of my face, and then I'm going to blend everything out with my Beauty Blender. set that area really quick I'm gonna use a simply spoiled perfection palette and I actually got an even better discount code for you guys you can get this palette for $19 with the discount code Katarina perf I'll just pop it right here and in the description box but you guys I have not been able to put this palette down I love it so much I'm just gonna use I'm gonna mix this kind of uh, yellow shade with this really tan light peachy shade and set my under eyes I also like to go on my eyelids as well. Yeah, I showed you guys this already in a video, but look how tiny the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette is compared to this. And this one you can get for $19, so super good deal, and I've just been loving this palette. To set the rest of my face, I'm going to use the good old Maybelline Fit Me Pressed Powder in the shade 220, a large kabuki brush. Okay, we're going to leave the face alone for a little bit and work on the eyes. Okay, so brows are on, and now I'm pretty much just using this palette and then one color from another. This is the Maybelline New York Modern Metallics. I mentioned this in my Maybelline Favorites. And we're just doing a very soft, bronzy, smoky, effortless eye look. So I'm first going to take a large fluffy blending brush and this tan shade right here. It's kind of like a medium ashy brown. And I'm going to pop this all over my crease. This is going to be our transition shade. So I just like to do windshield wiper motions from outer corner, really focusing most of the product there, and then blending it inwards. So then I'm going to take a smaller blending brush, and I'm going to go in with this really gold shade right here. It's like a deeper bronzy gold. It is so stunning. And I'm going to first kind of put this right above that last shade that we did. This adds so much warmth to the... And then before I blend that out, I'm going to take this darker shade right here, like the darkest in the palette, with that same blending brush. And then I'm going to deepen out the crease a tiny bit. Now that it looks like a big whole mess, we're going to take that same fluffy blending brush and just kind of blur out any harsh lines. Next, going to take a flat synthetic brush and this beautiful kind of off-white champagne shade, and we're going to pack this all over the lid. I'm 
Like you can see here, I am really using packing motions, not swiping, because I really want to build up color and make it look very opaque and vibrant. wipe that brush off and then I'm going to go into the Lorac um, Afterglow palette and or Summer Glow palette and just use this matte peachy shade. Any sort of matte shade would work. I just want to use this on my brow bone because I want to keep it bright up there but I still want it to be matte, no glitters. So back to step one, blend everything out. the lower lash line, I'm just going to lightly use a pencil brush and use that kind of medium ashy brown again and just drag that from inner corner or outer corner all the way to the inner corner just so that it kind of helps balance everything out. And this will actually make your eyes appear larger. To add some tiny definition, I'm going to go back into that deepest shade with a liner brush and I'm just going to do pressing motions. Line band is and I'm just going to make small dabbing motions to just create a little bit of definition right there. So now I'm just going to go ahead and tight line. This is the Rimmel Scandalize uh, liner and I'm just going to put this on my top lash line. Then I'm just going to go ahead and curl my lashes. And for mascara, I'm using my good old favorite. This is the Lash Sensational by Maybelline. With my mascara, I really like to kind of wiggle it right at the base and then pull upwards. I find that that creates so much volume just right at the bottom here. Now let's go back to the base. So I'm first going to use the Chocolate Soleil Bronzer in Medium Deep from Too Faced to kind of bronze up my skin a little bit before we contour. So I'm just going to go on the outer perimeters of my face. I'm going for a very, very bronze look as usual. So then I'm going to go back into that Simply Spoiled palette. And I'm going to go into the deepest shade here to contour with. I'm going to use this very lightly and very sparingly just to slightly carve out my cheekbones a little bit more. camera really keeps wanting to go out of focus on me. So then I'm going to take a kabuki brush and just kind of blend upwards. For blush, girlfriend's going a little crazy. I'm using both City Color Beamant blushes, one in Sweet Pea, one in, this is like a really bright, like matches my shirt, that's how bright it is. And uh, this is in the shade Fresh Melon. I'm going to use a tiny bit of this, but mainly just a Sweet Pea one. A little blush brush right here. go into the Naked uh, Urban Decay Flush Palette with a good old fan brush. I hit the tops of my cheekbones. And then a little bit on my nose bow. What I've been doing and I've been obsessing with is first going in with the e.l.f. Matte Lip Pencil in the shade Tea Rose. And that's not good. And I'm going to apply that all over my lips first. And then I'm going to take this LA Girl Lip Paint in the shade Elude. It's a beautiful kind of pinky nude shade. It's gorgeous. And I'm going to squirt a little bit out, but then I'm going to be using my fingers to apply it. Because I just want the hint, you know, a little slight color payoff. Nothing too crazy. Guys, so that completes this makeup tutorial. I really hope that you enjoyed it, and please give it a big thumbs up if you did. Also, you guys know I upload here on my YouTube channel three days a week, but I'm also one of the TMC Trust Me Cosmetics beauty vloggers, so I'm also uploading over there on their blog on their website three days a week as well. So if you guys want to check even some more videos from me, they're going to be some shorter tips and tricks, uh, makeup tutorials, things like that. I'll pop a link right here to TMC's blog where you can click it, and I'll take you directly to that link. Hoping that you guys don't get sick of me, of course, <laughs> but. But anyways, thank you so much you guys for watching. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.
For today's video, I have another foundation review and demo for you guys. Today, we're going to be talking all about the new Maybelline Super Stay Better Skin Foundation. So, to start things, 